Congress Moles Law Requiring Warrant for Email Data? Yet again, by David Kravetz. It's a new Congress, which means it's that time for another legislative proposal to bolster Americans' email privacy. Ever since the Reagan era, the law has allowed cops to get email or other cloud-stored content without a warrant, so long as it's been stored on a third party's servers for at least six months. That law, combined with others, also allows the authorities to obtain cell site data without a warrant. Court rulings on these topics are mixed, and some key email services, like Google, Microsoft, and others, say they demand warrants despite the law. Reagan signed the Electronic Communications Privacy Act, ECPA, in 1986, when CompuServe was king and email was briefly stored on servers before recipients downloaded it with their own software. Further reading, Congress has punted on issue for years. Email, cloud data to remain exposed. Representative Zoe Lofgren, D. Calif, Rep. Ted Poe, R. Texas, and Susan Dalbina, DWA, say a court warrant should be required for the authorities to obtain cloud content and geolocation data. This and similar proposals have been floated for years to update the ECPA. They haven't gone anywhere. A majority of House members last year agreed with the idea, but a proposal to update the ECPA never even got a hearing. And the year before that, in 2013, the Senate Judiciary Committee passed a reform measure requiring the authorities to obtain a probable cause warrant to acquire cloud-based data. The same Fourth Amendment standard necessary to search the same material if it was on a hard drive. However, an anonymous lawmaker or lawmakers had blocked the measure from going before the full Senate for a yes or no vote. The latest proposal, the Online Communications and Geolocation Protection Act, PDF, is virtually identical to a bill the same three lawmakers proposed in 2013. Here's what it would do, require the government to obtain a warrant to gain access to wire or electronic communications content, require the government to obtain a warrant to intercept or for service providers to disclose geolocation data, preserve exceptions for emergency situations, foreign intelligence surveillance, individual consent, public information, and emergency assistance, prohibit service providers from disclosing a user's geolocation information to the government in the absence of a warrant or exception, prohibit the use of unlawfully obtained geolocation information as evidence, provide for administrative discipline and a civil cause of action if geolocation information is unlawfully intercepted or disclosed. Fourth Amendment protections don't stop at the Internet, and Americans rightly expect constitutional protections to extend to their online communications and location data. Lofgren said Monday, Establishing a WARN standard for government access to cloud and geolocation provides Americans with the privacy protections they expect and would enable service providers to build greater trust with their users and global trading partners. FBI Director James Comey said last year that he didn't object to the changeover. The Securities and Exchange Commission has balked at the idea. A panel commissioned by President Barack Obama to examine the implications of big data concluded in May that cloud and email content should be constitutionally protected, a recommendation that Congress has been unable